हेलो एवरी वन एंड आई विश यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ कोडिंग क्लब आई आई टी गुवाहाटी एंड विद दैट सेट आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द कोडिंग क्लब आई आई टी गुवाहाटी प्रेजेंट्स गेटिंग स्टार्टेड सीरीज आई एम एंथ्रिल टू अनाउंस दैट वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कम्पलीटेड द कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग मॉड्यूल द ओपन सोर्स मॉड्यूल द वेब डेवलपमेंट मॉड्यूल एंड द ऐप डेवलपमेंट मॉड्यूल सक्सेसफुली सो नाउ let's just dive into our next module that is the machine learning module machine learning well what is it i assume machine learning the word itself is self explanatory it is basically the science of development of computer programs that can teach themselves to grow and change when exposed to new data the various techniques such as supervised unsupervised and hybrid learnings makes the machine learning and the modern science of artificial intelligence possible it can process massive data faster with the learning algorithms for example it will be interested in learning to complete a task make accurate predictions or behave intelligently and that is why it has found quite a lot of implementations and usages in our day to day life be it the youtube algorithm or social media or anything else why machine learning well analyzing data in itself is a tedious task for the human brain moreover when we add the fact that more than 80% of the data that is present on earth is unstructured that is it is either in audio form or video or photos or graphs etc finding pattern in them on earth is pretty much impossible for human brain and that is where the machine learning comes into the action to help people with significant data in minimum time now the question is how to get started for that our team has compiled the best data science and machine learning courses out there present on the internet the complete road map to master ml by code with harry on youtube will give you an insight about why what and how of the machine learning the ibm course for data science and machine learning by coursera is a certification course that is designed specifically for the beginners the andrew ng course by coursera will give an insight and proper understanding of the mathematical and analytical aspects of various algorithms used in the machine learning science the iitg.ai summer ai course will help you to dive into the realm of artificial intelligence and its sciences next is the python libraries well what are they a python library is a collection of related modules it contains a bundle of code that can be used repeatedly in different programs and certainly thereby decreasing our effort to write the code again and again python libraries play a very vital role in fields of machine learning data sciences data visualization and artificial intelligence Now let us talk about some useful libraries for machine learning. NumPy. NumPy provides an array object that is up to 50 times faster than the traditional Python lists. And from there we can see why we need such libraries. Along with this massive speed, it also supports linear algebra, Fourier transformations and matrices. The arrays are very frequently used in data sciences where speed and resources are very important. The next library is the pandas. Pandas can take data from a wide range of sources such as CSV files, the Excel files, HTML tables on the web and text files. It allows us to apply the same framework to all of these sources to clean analyze and picturize the data 
using optimized built-in functionality which scales very well with large data sets. It is always a good idea to pictureize the data so as to make it more understandable and presentable. And for that specific purpose, we have another library called matplotlib. Matplotlib is an amazing visualization library in Python for 2D plots of arrays. It is a multi-platform data visualization library built on NumPy arrays. This comes with a wide variety of plots, which help us to understand trends, patterns, and to make correlations. They're typically instruments for reasoning about quantitative information. The examples are there that you can see down below. Practicing the skill is as important as learning it, and you can practice the MLDL skill by participating in public competitions held on websites like Kaggle and Hacker Earth. To begin with, you can start with simple competitions to get familiar with the platforms. The Titanic dataset is the best first challenge for the beginners to get familiarized with the Kaggle platform. This dataset includes the details of the passengers which is used to predict the passengers who have survived the Titanic shipwreck. The house prices dataset is a more advanced competition challenge with over 79 explanatory variables describing every aspect of residential homes in cities like Ames and Loa, which challenges you to predict the final price of each home. Moving further to the intermediate and advanced level of learning, you can follow the deep learning specialization courses, which includes five courses and is provided by Coursera. If you are comfortable with learning from text, follow the book which is linked under this statement. Another book to refer the progress and further topics can be done by following the book which is linked under this statement. One of the popular data sets for testing and practicing the DL skills is the MNIST digit recognition data set, which is the de facto hello world dataset of computer vision. In this competition, your goal will be to correctly identify the digits from a data set of tens of thousands of handwritten images. Moving forward to the career and intern guide, here we have attached a link to data science intern document, which you can refer to prepare yourself for the intern interviews. Along with that, we have a basic timeline according to which the basic ML will be approximately completed in one week, next to which the basic ML projects will take one to two weeks, followed by the DL courses, which are going to take six to seven or eight weeks, depending on how much time are you spending on your learnings followed by the DL projects, which include the computer vision or natural language processing or both, which might take one to two weeks. 